Ever noticed those two strange symbols at the very top of the script? Yeah, those ones. The little combo is called a shebang, and its backstory is surprisingly cool. Back in the early Unix days, there was this small yet irritating problem. Every time someone wanted to run a script, they'd have to explicitly tell the system, hey, use bash for this one, or hey Python, run this one. Imagine having to repeat yourself all day long, it got old pretty quickly. One day, between 1979 and 1980, Denis Ritchie at Bell Labs got fed up enough and thought. What if we just put the interpreter right there at the top? And so the shebang line was born. Boom! Just like that. The computer knew exactly what to do every single time. But seriously, why shebang? If you are thinking the name is weird, you are absolutely right. Shebang is a simply playful mashup of two nicknames, Sharp and Ban. Programmers, especially Unix folks, have always enjoyed quirky names and shebang fits perfectly into that tradition. Shebang lines work flawlessly on Unix-like systems like Linux and Mac OS. But what about Windows? Well, Windows didn't really get the memo. Instead of recognizing shebangs, Windows relies on file extensions like BAT, EXE or PI to know what interpreter to use. That's why when you're writing cross-platform scripts, you sometimes find yourself pulling out your hair, tweaking little bits here and there. But hey, it's part of the fun, right? No. Did you know that band symbol was used back in the early days of email to specify routing through different servers? Yep. People literally shouted commands at computers. Back then, if you wanted to send an email through multiple servers, you would write something like this. Meaning, hey, server 1, forward this to server 2 and server 2, please deliver this to user 2. It was called band path notation and it looked pretty wild compared to modern email addresses. Maybe the shebang line is Unix shouting at the interpreter. Hey you, yes you, run this script. So why is this tiny detail interesting? Because it's one of those clever solutions that's so good you hardly notice it. Until it's missing, of course. It quietly makes the developer's life easier day after day. And next time you type shebang at the top of your script, you can smile knowing you're tapping into a clever little bit of programming history. Share this video to your tech friends, subscribe to the channel and stay in tech!